style over fashion because like, um, you can you cannot have fashion but you can have style because fashion is like it's more like a business comes with a lot of like you know hype controlling marketing you know and stuff like that that's the point like what I start saying oh no I'm from Tokyo Japan I was born in another city called Sendai but the, my parents had you know two houses and I went down there moving back up I became an exchange student so I came to United States for the first time when I was like 15 year old it was like really weird because it's like local regular American town that's like I was never used to because like you know how cities are in Japan so like for me to like adapt into like local lifestyle of America stuff was like really amazing yeah trying to you know do something new from New York and that's that's my family and that's my crew and we are kind of like really popular in New York now yeah. radical outing yeah it's like three DJs and five live acts that we produce and you know promote this yeah. is like stuff um, I usually wear like when I go DJ for like rave events um, you know I've been collecting early 90s or mid 90s like new rave particular you know style of clothing this is actually my street name Mr. Stupid Fresh because I wanted to be some something that's in between stupid or fresh I just want to be that existence like in between oh my god he's just like wearing crazy he stuff is like stupid yeah or he you know he may not be wearing crazy stuff but he has swag that comes from within the design of all those like military stuff like later kind of inspired me of like you know choosing what to wear like how I style how I, how I pick clothes for myself like this like stuff that I'm wearing is definitely part of it <laughs> this pants is actually the East German military surplus like now like East Germany don't exist so like they still made this type of uh, very like Germanic you know mm -hmm. <laughs> they're great style of uh, horse riding pants for officers and this is like one of the collection that I liked so I you know try to wear this in the street as well <laughs> yeah. I like the sound that I you know. had this hobby of collecting like military stuff. You know, went to the military store with my brother and pick up all those like whatever pouches, canteens, and suspenders, and you know, jackets of all different ages, different like war. Lab here is actually like one of the sample that I made. It's a uh, Actually, I modeled this hat from uh, Star Wars, the movie, and this hat is like, you know, the security guys used to wear, and I, you know, <laughs> picked the same shape, and it's black, and I think, like, original design of this hat is coming from Nazi Germany, mm -hmm. uh, combat cap called M43. It's really, really hard to, like, define what is a trend or what is mainstream or what to follow in Tokyo like it is so hard to like how you call it, pick one main trend to follow so people that like they accept foreign how you call this influences quite easily and they respect that and on the top of it they try to remix the imported culture imported style in their own way you know? <laughs> mm -hmm. and that really reflects on fashion in the same way how technology stuff or car manufacturing stuff, computer Japanese high-tech stuff has worked for that country, you know? Fashion worked in Japan the same exact way.